Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Tome AI tool for presentations. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using Tome AI for presentations here? Well, in this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to go to their official website, which is going to be tome.app. Now, from their website, you should be able to view a few things about Tome AI here. In this case, Tom AI is actually a platform or a tool that you could use for creating presentations more on the business side. So in this case, usually it is going to be or it's actually being used by sales and marketing teams. Now in this case, most of the items or most of the uh, presentations that sales and marketing teams involves numbers and also involves graphs. So in this case, if you want to present those, Tom AI here is going to be your friend. Now. Before we start using Tome AI here, we need to know if it's actually free. Now, from their website at the very top, you have the pricing section. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, in this case, for Tome AI here or Tome app, we have the following options. We have basic, professional, and enterprise. Now, enterprise is going to be a plan for big businesses or big entities. Now, it means that you need to contact their sales team for you to actually get a plan for that. Now, in this case, they will tailor the plan depending on what you need on your company. But in this case, if you're just a professional or a small team, you could use the professional plan here, which is $16 per month. So this includes AI generation and design tools, engagement analytics, customized branding, and build up to 100 plus templates and even export your creations into PDF. Now, you could also use the basic here, which is actually free. You don't have to pay for anything here. As you can see, it's actually zero dollars per month. Now, with the basic plan for Tome AI here, you have the manual editing, which in this case, you need to manual edit the presentation that you see. But you could also browse templates and use them and basically share them on or basically share them to different people or in different platforms. In this case, well, how do we actually get started? Now, at the top right of your screen, you have the Get Started or the Sign In button. In this case, if you haven't created your account, go ahead and click on Get Started. But if you already have your account, go ahead and click on Sign In. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on Get Started. And from here, you have the option to either continue with Google or Sign In or Single Sign In or SSO. In this case, let's go ahead and click on Continue with Google. Now, from here, let's go ahead and choose our account. And once you've chosen your account, let's go ahead and click on Continue. Now, in this case, it should create your account and it might ask you a few things about yourself. Like for example, creating your profile, like entering your first name and last name. In this case, what kind of work you do. In this case, you could go ahead and select whatever actually applies to you. Like for example, I'm going to say I'm into, let's just say I'm going to be a student here. Now in this case, let's go ahead and enter those details like your first name and last name. Now in this case, you now need to create your workspace. Now your workspace will contain your projects. Now think of it as a small room, which will contain different projects for your team or for your company. In this case, maybe I wanna say, I wanna say this is going to be a sample workspace, but you could name this in whatever name you want, but I just wanna name this the, uh, as this one. Let's go ahead and click on X. Now from here, we need to set our default team. In this case, there's going to be teams that you can use here. So depending on what you need or what you want to use here, go ahead and choose that. But for now, I'm going to use the Neptune team here. Click on next. Now from here, it's going to say uh, uh, if you want to actually use the Tone Pro here. So it's actually $16 a month or $20 to pay monthly. In this case, let's go and start with basic here since you want to utilize the basic um, tools first. In this case, it's going to ask you what make your first tome here. So for example, you could go and choose a research report, a resume, work portfolio. So for example, maybe I want to create a research report here. Let's go and click on get started. Now from here, we now need to basically create or start creating our research report. In this case, let's go and click on the option that says start with research report template. Now, if you have the pro uh, plan or the pro uh, account, in Tome AI, you'll be able to leverage the AI assistant that could actually assist you in generating your report. Now, you just need to enter your prompts and the uh, templates, or they will actually automatically design and generate the contents for you through the use of AI, which is something really cool and something really, really neat because you won't, do, uh, you won't need to do much here. You just need to provide all the details and they will actually handle everything for you. 
But since we're just using the basic, let's go ahead and click on Start with Research Report Template. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to choose or we want to start editing this. In this case, as you can see, the great thing about Tome here is you can just basically click on the slides at the left side here and you'll be, you'll be able to change a few things. Like, for example, maybe I want to uh, change a few things here. So, for example, we have this image here. You can go ahead and click on the tree dotted icon here and change a few things like uh, basically uploading media, searching for media, or even the size for it if you want to change it. Like, for example, fit fill custom and even adjust them if you want to now you could also change a few things here like for example the text you just need to double click on it and add some specific pizzazz on them like for example making it bold italize or italic or even adding an outline or strike through on them now, you can also add links if you want to as well now in this case, if you want to add a different section here, you can go ahead and click on the Control K option here or the bottom center of your screen. You have the option to either add the following. So for example, you want to add a text, go ahead and choose text here and you'll be able to move it around. Now in this case, you can just press and hold on the tree dotted icon here to move things or move elements around if you want to. So for example, I want to add this in the section here. You can go ahead and just do that again in here. But yeah, so if you want to add elements or move things around, that's how you actually do it. Now, if you want to switch over to a different page, just click on the pages at the left side here. Now, if you want to add another page, just click on add page here. Now, you also have the following option to add different layouts or uh, pages depending on the theme or the template that you chose. In this case, maybe I want to add a heading paragraph here. As you can see, we now have a heading as well as a paragraph at the right section. Now, depending on the element that you have here, you have the option to change a few things. In this case, we have the graph here, so I can change the type to either an area, column, bar, scatter, pie, depending on what you need. Now, if you want to edit your data, just click on edit data here. But if you have a CSV, just click on upload CSV and choose your CSV for you to start uploading that and basically start using it for your project or for your graph in here. Now, that's it. that's something pretty neat here. So you just need to upload your data and they will actually generate that for you. Yeah. So in this case, uh, those are the basic things that you need to do here. So at the right side, you have the options or the quick icons or quick elements that you can add, like what we saw before in Control K here. I have the option to add drawings, add media, add text, add car chart, you have table. You also have the more tiles here if you want to add further uh, elements on it. And also change a few things here, like you set the theme for the actual um, sub presentation that we have right now. So for example, change the color, uh, heading color, paragraph color, the page color itself, and the tome theme itself. In this case, you, if you want to share this one, you can go ahead and click on share at the top right of the screen. And from here, you have the option to share this, uh, change a few things. Like for example, anyone with this link, you can just uh, basically update this to you can play or no access at all. In this case, if you want to link to current page, you can go ahead and click on this one. And just click on copy link here. And from here, if you want to share this to your workspace, you can go ahead and just click on can play, can comment, can edit or full access if you want to. Well, be wary on keeping uh, full access here. So if you they if they actually have full access, they have the capabilities of deleting your projects here. So I would recommend you to either choose can edit here if you have a like for example a teammate or a uh, uh, a friend that is also editing this one. Just choose the can edit here. So just just make sure that you don't actually accidentally delete your project in here. But yeah. So in this case, if you want to play your uh, specific presentation here, you go and click on the play button at the top right here. And if you want to add narrations, you can go and click on add record narrations here. So it will actually automatically or it will help you or assist you in adding narrations to your project here in Tome AI. In this case, let's go and go back. Now, we now need to discuss what are the other sections or what are the sections that you can access here on Tome AI. Now, recent will contain your recent projects that you've accessed. Personal will contain your projects or recently edited projects. Now, in this case, the shared section will contain all the shared projects with you. Now, the workspace here will contain your workspaces. In this case, if you added like personal projects in your workspace, this is where you'll be you'll be able to see them. We also have the templates here will contain all the templates that is currently available for editing. In this case, there are going to be a lot of templates that you can access here. So in this case, you could go and just choose whatever template they want to use here. Now, editing them is quite similar on what we did before on the research report template that we just used. 
Now you could also choose the brand option here, which in this case, you can change a few things. Like for example, uh, up updating your logo, tone branding and custom fonts, but you need to have the pro plan for you to actually do that. Now, this case, for example, if you actually del uh, deleted something, you could go, go to the deleted section here and you'll be able to see it and recover them if you want to. Now, you could also organize your tomes into folders if you want to. And if you want to invite people into your workspace, you just click on invite teammates here. And from here, you just need to enter their email. And from here, you just need to specify a few things here. So yeah, but before that, you need to actually add or if you want to uh, up, uh, use or add or remove email domains, you need to have the pro plan here uh, for you to start util utilizing them. But uh, yeah. So in this case, at the top left, you have the option to go to settings. If you want to change a few things about your account, change your current view. Like for example, if you want to change the light, you can even change a few things on your system. Again, if you choose settings here, you'll be able to change the workspace settings here and allow members into your account. Now you should also have the option to import documents into your into Tome AI here, which in this case you'll be able to use or start from that whenever you're actually um, creating your projects. So yeah, so in this case, if you want to start from blank, you could go and click on start from blank at the top right here. And if you want to generate, generate through the use of AI, just click on generate with AI here. But again, you need to have a pro plan for you to start using, utilizing that. So yeah, so those are the basics that you need to know on how to use Tome AI here. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.